Suicide Squad soundtrack is number one on the Billboard Top 200. Yeah. So the whole soundtrack of Suicide Squad uh, has made it into oh, number one. Uh, that's including the film soundtrack and the, like special uh, songs that people made for it. But you know what? Awesome. The soundtrack Suicide Squad was really good. Yeah. Uh, placed uh, sometimes placed very badly, but the soundtrack itself was really good. Yeah. DC, DC kicked Marvel's ass in comics, kicked their ass in DVD sales, and kicked their ass in fucking music. <laughs> okay, so we have Kevin Bacon wants to play Freddy Krueger. Uh, I don't know how to be Robert. Maybe. It I has say, to be Robert England. I'm sorry. I say maybe. Maybe. He brings this uh, charisma and he brings this drive to it that you don't get when they... Tr they tried to make the Rorschach actor into Freddy yeah. Krueger, and it didn't yeah. work. He was too serious and not funny enough. But Robert Englund works so well, and I'm so sad that they're not trying to get him back in. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure Kevin Bacon would do fine. I just need to see Kevin Bacon as more of an intimidating badass. And okay, so this is another him. thing we can kind of get in our room. Cyborg is in the Flash movie. Yeah, Cyborg. Okay, and this is... Uh, this is related to the Spider-Man stuff. So, Cyborg will be appearing in the Flash movie. I, I don't know how to feel about it. Why? Why can't we have a movie just about the Flash? Because they got to set up their universe faster. Ah! I just want the Flash. If I'm going to watch a movie about Flash or Spider-Man or Doctor Strange, I want it to just be them. The only way this is acceptable to me is... um. Maybe if he maybe because he works at like uh, yeah, no. his dad works at Star Labs and no. that could be connected with the Flash. In, uh, in the Flash in in the Flash show, right? Uh, Star Labs makes a lot of the shit for Flash, right? Yeah. And Star Labs, it made Cyborg. Yeah. Much. So I mean, it could work. Uh, like, I I the only way I'd really truly accept it is if it was an after credit scene. Yeah. Or if it was his dad helping the Flash. Or if it was just a quick little like nothing scene. Yeah. But. Like maybe and that, that goes up. that goes for Spider. Uh, the thing is, I, I'm less worried about Doctor Strange. I'm more worried about the Spider Man because I feel like Tony Stark's probably yeah. gonna have a thing at the end where he's like, "Do you want to join the Avengers?" But Spider Man, they're probably gonna have a million fucking Avengers in it. And it's just... I'm looking at Doctor Strange joining the Avengers. That'd be cool, but you know, you already got like a magic bitch. Yeah, but this I don't know. Don't you need know. another magic. Yeah. Person. Doctor Strange, he has no backstory know. and he has his own movie. Maybe she'll die. Also, it's Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Kevin Con Kevin Conroy wants to cameo in DC film. Yeah, Kevin Conroy wants to do a kind of a Stan Lee thing, where he cameos in a lot of movies. I think it'd be <laughs> it'd be awesome. It'd be cool, but I'd rather have Jeff Johns do it. Yeah, P I, I'd rather Jeff. Johns. Because yeah, Kevin Conroy is great and he's a DC treasure, but he's only for Batman. So it wouldn't make sense in a Flash. What if he was in the Batman movie? That'd be great. See, that's where he should cameo. But in every movie, no. Yeah, it should be Jeff Johns. I would go with Jeff Johns. Jeff Johns or like some famous writer. Maybe, just have him, maybe the guy who created Justice League. I, I have to look. Just have him, Jeff Johns walking around in the background yeah. with a Green Lantern hat. Yeah, there you go. But I mean... Just, maybe have him serve coffee yeah. to someone. But I mean, uh, don't I don't think DC should worry about these cameo stuff. I yeah. think they should try to make a good movie and yeah. blah, blah, blah. But it would be interesting. Yeah, it would be. And then you get a bunch of Marvel people who's like, oh, they're ripping us off. Jared Leto is mad. Oh, Yeah. Fucking Jesus Christ, he's so pissed. Okay, uh, he, okay, so believe it or not, Jared Leto, like, f from interviews that I've seen, is actually a very chill man. Yeah. Like, the Joker performance wouldn't yeah. tell you that, but normally yeah. he's very, he's actually a very soft-spoken kind of guy. Yeah, I've seen that in his interviews. Right? Um, I was actually watching his interviews. But he is, he, he is legitimately upset, because he was on an interview with a bunch of other people, he said he feels uh, a bit uh, cheated because he said he worked so hard to make his to make his role, and they did so many scenes with the Joker, and he thought the Joker would be a major player. Yeah. So he feels like DC cheated him. Well, I mean, like he got into the role, he went to asylums, he like dyed his, he bleached and dyed his hair green. He got prepared yeah. for this role. He worked so hard. There were so many pictures from the Joker. So ten much minutes. talk on the Joker. He got ten minutes of footage. Throughout a two-hour and two-minute movie. Uh, yeah. I honestly... Like, from what he says, it, it does seem like there was legitimately enough Joker footage to make it a short film. I mean, like, I understand, David Ayer, that you can't make a three-hour Joker movie. But why would you film so many scenes? Why would you film so many scenes, then? Like, what the... What, what are you going to do with all those scenes? So in case the Joker in the bat suit. Like, what? That what I wonder. Like, I you remember see. the first... You remember the first leaked scene from Suicide Squad? 
where it's uh, Mar- where it's Margot Robbie. Yeah. And she's outside of the car. Yeah. And she points a gun at Jared Leto. Yeah. And that was like outside, and Jared Leto like, slaps her in the face and takes her gun and stuff. You yeah. Remember that? The yeah. first leak thing. It's not in the movie at all. And that's supposed to be before the whole chase with maybe he did, maybe he had a change of heart with the Joker and Harley relationship. That's what some people think too. Uh, some people think that um, he was originally gonna have it more. Get like, this. Originally, the Joker was supposed to be darker, but they wanted to lighten him yeah. a little bit, and it's like it's the fucking Joker. Yeah. Again, I'm glad with what Jared Leto did, but David, you you just why why? It's so stupid. And the worst part is, it's not like I would accept this. If the Joker wasn't sold to us. Yeah. Like, on every poster for Suicide Squad, there's the Joker. Yeah. And I mean... Like, and he has ten minutes! That is so bad! So bad! Wow! I I will agree, it is slightly false advertising, yeah, of course. Yeah. But, I mean, Jared Leto does so much to get into his roles, and I I would feel... I'd be upset, too, if I fucking talked to insane What are you gonna go do? Sue DC? (laughs) I think he might commit suicide with his squad. Joker on you? Sure. It's right. It's the, he's he's in the, the middle. middle. So basically, Bethesda asked. Uh, uh, basically, Bethesda, Bethesda, since like they've they've done Elder Scrolls, yeah, have been asked by a bunch of studios if yeah. they wanted a movie made, yeah. and every studio Bethesda has said no. Yeah, pretty much for the past how long they've said no. For every the, every for the Elder Scrolls for the Elder Scrolls, uh, a live action Elder Scrolls movie. Because what they said is is the only way they'd say yes is if Peter Jackson did it. And for all of you who don't know who that is, Lord of the Rings. He directed Lord of the Rings yeah. and stuff. There you go. Um, so, so I think per- personally, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I think he could do it. Because he, the thing is, they said um, with Peter Jackson is he brings out the epicness of the world. Yeah. Like he makes a world look huge. Yeah. And that's what they really want with Skyrim. And. Uh, you know, I, I do think legit, he could legitimately do it right yeah. if, they have the, if they had the right scripts and they had the right story to work with. Yeah. I think it'd be a great movie. Ben Affleck's birthday! He's 45, hey. right? Yeah, yeah. 45. 45. Happy birthday, Ben Affleck! Good job, man. Happy um, birthday, Batfleck. You've reached the age of Batman from your movie. So there you go. Good job. You're looking, looking good for 45. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Ben. Ooh, oh, oh. oh. But anyways. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so, so uh, yeah. possible Man of Steel uh, two director, uh, they're thinking of J.J. Abrams. I think it's wonderful. I think it's great. This needs to happen. I mean, like Zach, I love you, and you're great, but you be busy with Justice League and stuff and other movies and you know whatever else you do with DC because you're definitely gonna stay with DC and do stuff. Maybe he'll do the next Suicide Squad movie. Maybe. You know, so yeah, let's get some more directors in there with different styles, like Margot Robbie and. and- Ben J- Affleck and stuff, bring him in. J.J. Abrams would be perfect too because like, J.J. Abrams usually doesn't make really bad movies. He doesn't. He's made, like Star Wars was great. Uh, Planet of the Apes movies was great. His Star Trek movies I yeah. loved. Everything he's done recently I really loved. So I think he'd be perfect for it. I feel like he's really good at action scenes and, and he, really good with characters. He's not as controversial as Zack Snyder because there is yeah. a hate for Zack Snyder in yeah. Hollywood. He's, like I said, he's a 50-50 director, yeah. right? It's, some people hate him, some people love him. With J.J. Abrams, it's usually people really love him or they think he's okay. What I like, I'm going to compare this to Star Wars because, you know, he's yeah. new and he's taking on his series, right? Yeah. And when, when he was doing, Star, when he did the Star Wars movie, he was able to keep it, he was able to keep the feeling of the movie similar to the old ones but also add some new elements. And I think he'd be able to do that with Man of Steel 2. Keep it similar to Man of Steel 1 and, yeah. and the theme and the kind of idea they're going for, but also add some new elements and some new ideas and make it feel a little bit different. And, and he's really good at that, balancing it out. I feel like, um, uh, in all seriousness, uh, I feel like if they did bring him on, they would definitely be doing Brainiac. Yeah. Like 100%, because he loves his sci-fi. Yeah. Yeah. So there would definitely be fucking giant ships yeah. and Brainiac would be... Or Cyborg like, Superman. Or Cyborg uh, Brainiac's more like yeah. There you go, Brainiac! But, like, I mean, yeah. I mean, sure. They'll probably have Batman or someone coming, because he's already got a solo movie yeah. now, so. Yeah. But anyways, <clears throat> so uh, Conan the Barbarian, it was an old movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. There was two movies. Uh, they went, they were really well in medieval kind of fantasy. Yeah, sort of I heard about that. Kind of deal. But James Earl Jones was one of the villains, <laughs> which was great. Uh, but uh, basically, Arnold's thinking of making another movie based off of Conan. I think you do it. Sure, go for it. Go for it. Because, I mean, they tried to remake Conan. 
yeah. with a different actor, and it didn't. They, they remade it with Jason Momoa, Ooh. and it didn't work. Yeah, because there was the, first of all the director was shit, uh, and it's an Arnold movie. Yeah, yeah. all right, but uh. Okay, uh, next. Okay, so apparently this needed to be said, but Shazam's a part of the DC Cinematic Universe. I don't even think we really need to go in this. But and if you didn't know, Dwayne Johnson is playing Black Adam. Yeah. So. I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't know. Why did DC? Why DC had to confirm this when they put it out in the lineup of the movies? I have no idea. But apparently, yes. Apparently, it had to be confirmed that okay. Shazam is part of it. So, um, Little Mermaid is getting a live action movie. So all of those people who love the Little Mermaid Disney. Yeah. Get a live action movie just like Jungle Book from Disney. So, um, and and a contra- and uh, next up is a controversial kind of not controversial but a weird statement from yeah. uh, Kevin Conroy. Uh, Kevin Conroy says uh, he doesn't really particularly care for the the Batman from Batman vs Superman. Uh, says he's a bit too violent and he doesn't like that Batman's crossed the line. I believe is what he said. Yeah. Uh, and since you're a resident Batman expert, okay, so I will get into this. First of all, you I, got grew 30 up, I grew up with Kevin Conroy as Batman. It's great. I love him as Batman. He was wonderful as a child, but that's what he was for. He was for like younger viewers. He was a younger viewer Batman. This is for older viewers. This is a darker Batman that fits in the cinematic universe that uh, Zack Snyder has crafted, and it's great. And I think Ben Affleck is amazing Batman. He's I actually prefer him as Batman. Like, his style of Batman. Yeah. Because I prefer the darker, grittier, killing Batman. It's just what I prefer. I prefer... But one of my favorite Batmans is Flashpoint. And he's done so well. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I love Kevin Connery. He's great. And I respect his opinion. But I, I don't agree with him. Yeah. It's basically his whole thing. Is he goes with, I think, about 75% of the Batman audience. Yeah. Who says, um, the whole point of Batman is to be dark, but not cross the line. And what? that's basically what he said. Yeah. Is Batman supposed to be the darker superhero, but not get crossed And that here's line. what I say about that also, is every Batman movie he's killed. So. Even in the comics he kills. Yeah. I mean, I do respect that opinion, yeah. but I think if you do use that opinion, you better give me a Batman that hasn't killed anyone ever. Yeah. Hey, Kevin Conner, remember the killing joke that you played in? You killed Joker. You killed, yeah. you, also he killed like two little people. Yeah. Threw him in a yeah. bed of spikes. So, you just played a Batman that killed, so I hope you're comfortable with that. <laughs> but, I mean... Just kidding. You're good. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's kind of his opinion, and I mean, he does hold some sort of weight because he's been playing Batman yeah, for how long. Yeah, I know. So, but, people... But they're not look. going for the Kevin Conroy Batman. Exactly. And the other thing is, this Batman's broken. Kevin Conroy's Batman isn't broken. Yeah. And he does break and kill, he joke, and he kills. So, that that's kind of the thing to me, too. This is the after effect of that. That like, a lot of people don't kind of think about is the fact that there wasn't a movie before yeah. Batman vs. Superman, so people didn't get to see Batman not killing. Or I mean, like, I think that's what we kind of needed, but, you know. But they, they allude yeah, to it. They, he says, he says, we're not crim- we're, we're criminals and stuff like that. See, we could have had that movie, but you guys are all like, no one's Batman, so we had to sit and wait yeah. for that to end. So, uh, next so? is uh, there's a new Pennywise picture right there. Uh, and. Everyone is bitching about it. Uh, basically, the deal is, uh, Samat, have you? Do you know about Pennywise? I've heard about it. And you showed me pictures, a few. Um, they did a full body picture. Yeah. And basically, Penny Pennywise the clown. Is it the cl- yeah? I, oh, never mind. I saw it on Facebook. Yeah, I know. I Pennywise know. the clown. Yeah. Uh, the whole thing with him is he's a clown, and he's supposed to be a clown to lure kids, and eat Ooh. them. Ooh. Okay. Right. So it Pennywise. Uh, the people's biggest problem with this new Pennywise. Is that simply he looks scary and he doesn't look like he could lure a child? Oh, I see. And that's people's problem with it. What do you think? Um, I honestly, my opinion uh, is, I think people are taking it too out of context. Oh, I see. I feel like first of all, it's one image. It's not even from set. You haven't seen him act as Pennywise. Yeah. And of course, they want to make him look creepy. It's a horror movie. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, to me, what's stupid is um, clowns inherently look creepy. Yeah. Like I mean. You could make the happiest little fucking clown and just <laughs> give it the right lighting, it'll look creepy as fuck. And, I mean, my biggest problem is, like, they compare it to the Tim Curry one, and he was creepy as fuck. Would you honest, like, <laughs> this one just looks a little more creepy, and also they're bitching about his clown costume. Oh my god, of course they are. Because, um... Does they not look exactly? Uh, what, what, yes. But basically what they said was, um... They didn't like it. It looks all poofy. It looks Victorian. Oh. And uh, what they got to realize is uh, uh, Pennywise is from Victorian times. Oh, my God. So, of course, his clown suit is a Victorian-style clown suit. It is. 
Like, really? They're like, it looks too poofy. It doesn't look like a modern car. What? He's an old... Okay, so... So, basically, yeah. Also, uh, no, also, it hasn't been relevant for, like, 20 years, and apparently now it is. Yeah. No one bitched about this until they fucking decided to make a movie. Okay, so John Williams is back for episode 8 of Star Wars. Great. We all knew it was coming. I don't know why it had to be confirmed. But yeah, some things just need to be confirmed yeah. to make people, like, sleep at night. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah. Y'all, okay, I mean, Nothing. We don't need world. to speculate if he'll be good or not, because he'll be good. It's John Williams. Come on. Okay, Thor's stupid movie. Oh, okay. So, Ragnarok. So here we go. So Thor Ragnarok, they finally kind of reveal the sort of synopsis. <laughs> and basically, it's kind of going to be like... They didn't say this exactly, but what I got from it, and because it's a Marvel movie, is it's going to be a fun little road trip with the Hulk and Thor. So, They're going to be on the road, going through all the realms. So stupid. So stupid this has so much potential why is hulk in there why is he in there because it's funny it's stupid it's not funny it's stupid going through this? it is stupid uh but basically Idiot. what happens is they 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 run into this one dimension because there's nine of them or whatever right? yeah and uh of course there's a villain there yeah of course there's and the villain Pretty much wants to activate <sighs> Ragnarok, which if you don't know, Ragnarok is is a Nordic uh, myth about the snake that is around yeah. the universe. That's cool. But eating the universe. It's the fact that Hulk's in it. But they're on a road trip. Stupid. Oh if, yeah. If the Hulk also, just punches this snake in the face and that's it, I'm gonna lose. Also, Natalie Portman is thinking about not playing in any more Marvel movies. She she acted in a Marvel movie. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And I gotta give her props. I get I get out of there too if I was you. Go, go into DC movie. Go DC. They're better. Anyways. They'll treat you better. Yeah. Okay. Ben Affleck's directing a new movie and not Batman. How, Ben? Fuck, Ben. So, ben Why? Ben. Why? Why? So, Ben Affleck um, still pretty much doesn't think the Batman script is good enough to start making a movie. He really wants the script to be good. Because of the fact, uh, the fact of the matter is that, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. The fact of the matter is Ben Affleck has had a really good run directing movies, and he doesn't want to do a movie that can ruin that. So he wants to make sure that this Batman is perfect so that it doesn't really ruin his reputation. So he wants to take his time. So of course he's taking other projects to direct while he's working on Batman. That it can keep working on. Don't put it off! Finish it! Film it! And it'll go on my top tens, probably. Top ten list, but I mean, I need to see it. I mean, you gotta understand is like Ben Affleck I, was I, was really upset because of man because the Batman yeah. versus Superman the bad reviews and everything yeah. it made him look really bad. So he doesn't want to do know. a superhero movie that will be bad. He wants to take his time. Hey, he doesn't have that big of expectations after no one's Batman. Oh, that won an Oscar. It's so sad because that was the last Batman I had to watch. That was actually the last Batman movie. I had to watch. I had to sit in the theater and watch pure garbage. Okay, so Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be in the dark side of Thanos War. It... Cool. I don't give a fuck. So, I mean, I don't know why that needs to be confirmed, too. But I it mean, did because people... They've been they've been saying, and, and by the way, the next Guardians of the Galaxy will be talking about the other two Infinity Stones they're missing. So, Great. of course, they're going to appear in Infinity War. <laughs> Great. Uh, Oh. At least they'll be better than the Avengers. Yeah. Okay, so now... Things getting... A oh, yeah, so the, the classic uh, John Carpenter's The Thing uh, movie is getting a, is getting a, kind of a remastered edition and released in a box set. That's awesome. Classic horror movie. Awesome. And then we have Kenny Baker died. Yeah, um, let's just kind of take a moment. So, uh, Kenny Baker died at, like, age... 81. 80, 81. Uh... He had no illness. It was... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've, uh, we've lost R2-D2. No! And, uh... It's not true! That's impossible! It, it, it is true, and it is possible. <laughs> but, uh, basically, uh, Mark Hamill sent out an adorable tweet where it was like, Kenny Baker was the best, most professional man I've ever met, and he was the droid I was looking for. And it's like, oh my god, oh my it's so god. cute! It's so great. That was adorable. Mark, you're fucking adorable. But I mean, it sucks. I mean, he, he was he was really You were old, great. Man. I mean, like, you beeped and booped. It was awesome. You, you moved, dude. You, you played R2 for every movie, and you were there. 
You didn't have yeah. lions, but you were there. Dude, you know what you he did? You were in that armor. That suit. Fucking was the worst one. It was like he was. I, I remember just watching like a Star Wars documentary. And he got choked by the lion no. they left behind. No, no, no not that set one. Set too. Not that one. Okay. No, like he had to like maneuver a fucking tin can through a desert. Yep. He literally was inside going, "Fuck me." Yep. But yeah, I mean that sucks. It's it's sad to lose someone from a beloved like sci-fi series like that. But yeah, you know, he's eighty-one. Gets yeah. sick. You know, it happens. Uh, uh, rest in peace. Yeah, Kenny, you will be missed. May the force be with you. Basically, uh, there there is a thing where there may be. <laughs> There's a thing where the thing happened. There may be a Green Lantern uh, cameo in Justice League. I think that'd be great. I want to see the actor they choose, and I hope it's not Simon Bays. This is uh, pretty much uh, if they if they have hired an actor to play Green Lantern, they must have kept that shit on yeah. so much <clears throat> lockdown. Yeah, they, maybe they didn't even name him. Maybe they gave him like a random name like Bob or yeah. something like, or Civilian One. <laughs> His name was like totally not Green Lantern. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, that'd be awesome if he appears at the end and he's like, Dark Side's coming. And yeah. Be, and, or if he like helps Superman in the battle. And, yeah. Or yeah. if he's Hal Jordan and he's like fixing a plane. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, yeah, I just kind of have that for the fans. Like, there you go. Okay. So segment four, video games, guys. Yay. So, yeah. So, okay. So Destiny's Blockbuster edition collection. Yeah, Destiny's so everything. You get everything, every little thing. It's the basically Wolves, every DLC. It's a, it's a leg, it's it, it it's the legendary edition with the new DLC that they have. Yeah, House of Wolves or whatever. Not House of Wolves. Uh, what the fuck's it called? Okay, armor, new weapons. You'll see them. They all actually look good. Yeah, they actually look very cool. Also, I don't know if everybody knows this, but there are private matches now coming. Together. It only took them two years, <clears throat> and they will not be included with the DLC and the price. Uh -huh. Same with Kill Confirmed. They're both free. They're both be added on as an update, along with SRL. They've had they have said that they want to add SRL back with more maps, and they're working on it. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, we're getting new weapons, new armor. We got to see a new exotic weapon. It's a heavy machine gun. Looks really cool. So that's awesome. The stability is like insane on it. We got the Kvostov, the Hawk. We got to see the Hawkmoon with some ordinates on it. So oh, sorry, ordinates. So we've gotten to learn about ordinates for uh, weapons. We, we yeah. So for weapons, they'll change the color of the weapon, and they have designs too. Sometimes they'll just be colors. Sometimes they'll be designs. And I think that's very cool to add. It makes your exotics and weapons feel a little bit more personal. You know, they put them on a more personal yeah. level. That you have this gun that's a specific color and it's yours. It's more yours. I think it's very cool. They also applied this to armor. So you remember the chromes that were introduced in the April update? Well, now they're going full on with the ornaments. You can make your armor on fire and stuff or make it green. Yep. Uh, okay. Six, su success of Pokemon Go has spawned Harry Potter Go. Yes, Harry Potter Go. In the wake of Fantastic Beasts, where they're finally coming out, uh, basically, essentially, the, the, the guy who catches all the beasts obviously has to catch the magical beasts. So they're pretty much doing the same principle with Harry Potter. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, and we know there's some out there, we know a certain one. Go check it out. Yeah, it's coming out. It should be coming out in a couple months or so. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Injustice 2, new character. Oh my god. We won't okay. get into too much of it because we'll have a trailer talk where we'll get more into it. Harley but Quinn. Harley Quinn and Deadshot. Deadshot. Dead guys. Dead. Dead shot. Was it the Will Smith? Did it? Is it the Will Smith? No, it's dead not. Shot. It's actual dead shot. <laughs> it's cool. And he wears the fucking helmet. Shh. It's, we'll it's great. It's, it's great, guys. I'm excited. All right, I don't want to get into it too much. But yes, 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 yes. All okay. Right. So Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear Zombie. So basically, the next installment of Metal Gear, they're deciding, fuck it, let's make them fight zombies. <laughs> Alrighty. You know, why don't we just do it with every video game? Well, I mean, it solves the problem. It's not out of okay. The okay, Metal Gear is a fucking silly fucking game. Yeah, I know it is. They have a dude with like who's like a skull man, oh, some like giant mechs and shit. Yeah. I mean, zombies aren't out of it, and also they've talked about viruses and so yeah. fuck it. Yeah, sure, All right. go for it. It'll just be fun. Sure. All right, get ready for some bullshit. Star Wars Battlefront has announced. Wait, wait, wait. Let me brace myself. Let me. Okay, tell me that there are space battles. But oh my god. But only on one map, and it comes with, you have to pay for it, 20 bucks, along with Chewbacca and the other... Boss! Boss. 
Thank you. That, so um, that guy. so let me let me just that get it. let me let me just let me just get it's this. Twenty thing. bucks for I mean, space battle on one map and two characters. I'm right now to get this straight. Okay, here's the thing. So Battlefront one and two, they had more than one map where you could do a space battle, and it came with a game. Yep. And this game took what half a year? Yeah. To actually get space combat. Actually, I think a year. I a year to a get year? space combat. Oh, by the way, you want to know the map it'll be on? A uh, Death Star map. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, it'll either probably be like over the trenches or some shit. Yeah. But I mean, why don't you do what they did in Battlefront? Just have the ship here and a ship here and fight. No, no, can't do it. And do you think Destiny DLC is bad? 20 bucks for two characters and space battle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some people ask for Chewbacca, sure, but Bosk? Like, what? No one wants Greedo and no one wants Bosk. Just add I Kylo get, Ren and stuff. I get that they're green Ren. and therefore they're awesome, but come on now. Picking up Yoda is green. Yeah. Xbox One S is selling out in the country. Yeah, Xbox One S, so the upgraded Xbox One, uh, smaller, more processing power. Gross white. Can do, uh, a can do like HD stuff, can do stuff that the Xbox oh. One can't even yeah. do. Uh, and it's, it's pretty much selling out. And how much is it? Do you know how much it is? Oh, God, it's like... Probably like 500 It's $600. It's 500 600 bucks. Yeah. Uh, so but, there you go. But it's got it's got it's got a lot of memory. It's got a lot of processing power. It can work with a lot of HD TVs and stuff like that. So there you go. Uh, it looks cool. Of course, it's selling out its Xbox. Okay, so we're on to our last segment, segment five, and you update. Uh, nothing. So so guys, we're starting our comic book reviews. We're Yay. doing some more trailer talks. We're going to be covering Star Wars Rogue One. Don't worry, I know there's been billions of comments about that. <laughs> yeah, from the billions of fans. Yes, from the billions, billions of fans. As you guys saw, our lights out, our sausage party, our you saw our sausage yeah, party. Our review is they're out now, so you can check them out. Our Nerd news is out. It's great. Watch them. They're all great videos. Uh, Lucio gameplay just went out today from me, uh, Chaos Gaming. So check that out. I'll be having a loot box video very soon because we're at twenty guys. We did it. Woo! We did it. And also, uh, look, be looking forward to The Nerds United, a top 10 best films yeah. video coming out soon. Very soon. So, yeah. There you go. There you go. So, you get to hear what I think is awesome, what, what Anarchy thinks is awesome, and what, and what Duckatraz thinks. Yeah. It was his last. So, yeah, this is Anarchy bringing you the chaos. And this is uh, Goblin in Green. And this was your weekly nerd news brought to you by Nerds United. Studio. Thank you.